Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a quick DIY for you. This is the cutest little sign I saw while I was at Kirkland's, and it is $19.99. So the first thing I did was I went to Home Depot, and I was looking around their clearance wood. This is a palette of wood. They usually all have a color spray painted on them to show that they are clearanced. This board was originally one piece that was a 16 foot piece of wood. I found whatever was left over on the clearance bin and I had the employee there just cut it in half for me. So I will actually be able to get two projects out of a piece of wood that cost me around three to four dollars. A tip for crafting with small children is setting up the crafts beforehand makes it a lot easier and less stressful when you're trying to have them focus on exactly one thing that you are doing. I want them to be painting and focused only on painting, so I will set up the paints and have everything ready for them to go so they can come out and bang out the painting real quick and it's just a quick and easy cleanup after that. Here I'm just going to touch up any of the white parts of the wood that I want to be white because after my kids paint it, I'm not going to be able to touch up any of these other spots afterwards. So I'm just going to go quickly over any of the scuffs or scratches or dings in the wood. This is also the time I'm going to take to paint the end where the wood was cut. I'm going to paint that all white so that it looks like it was originally just one piece of wood. I'm choosing white wood because I know that when my kids paint, all of their paint just turns into a muddy color. So I will achieve my brown color through that and then I will go ahead and use the white to paint over it as an accent. Because I have two children, I decided to make my sign a lot longer so that it could accommodate more of the metal clips and therefore I would be able to display much more artwork than a smaller sign. I've super glued on the clips and I've even added a white handprint from each of my kits to each side of the board here and there's a close-up of just the glue I put onto the clip just a little bit of super glue hold everything together here I've roughly sketched out what I want the board to say and once I was sure everything would fit, I go ahead and go back over the letters and make them thicker and darker and more purposeful. And because I made this myself, I got to put look what we did instead of look what I did. You're gonna wanna make sure you let your sign dry completely in between each of the steps that you do. And my fiance added a couple of these hooks here with just a little hand drill and I was able to hang it up on the wall and display the kids artwork. I am so happy with the way this project turned out and it means so much more that I was able to personalize it and have it be for both of my children instead of having to buy two signs for one child or just not having it feel like it just fits with my house. Mm -hmm. 